Hello everybody and welcome to another X-Plane 11 video. Today I will be showing you guys how to set up the FMC in the Zebo Mod 737. So, let's get started. Okay, so here we are in the Zebo 737 and now it's time to set up the FMC. So, let's hop right into it. First thing you're going to want to do is clear nav data out of date so we can actually type into the FMC. Then you're going to want to press FMC. Then you're going to want to press pause in it, P O S I N I T, whatever that stands for. And you're going to want to type in the airport you're at. So right now I'm at San Diego International, and that's K S A, where the heck's N? There's N. Then you're going to want to put that in the E. REF airport. So, as you guys can see, there's San Diego. So now we're going to check what gate we are at. We're at gate 6. Going to put in 6 for our gate. Perfect. So now we're going to go to the next page. Um, press the longitude and latitude so it's down here. Go back to the previous page and put it there. So in a sense, we're copying and pasting. So, now we're going to press root. Now, KSAN is already in there because um, we already put it in as our origin. So, yeah, we're just going to quickly put that in while I press it again. Clear that out. Okay, and then you're going to type in your destination airport. And today, I will be flying to Phoenix. So, K and then PHX. Where the heck is P? Um, P, H, and then X. Okay. Now we're going to put that in as our destination. So the flight number, it doesn't really matter what you put in. Like, you, you really don't even have to put one in. You can just skip the flight number. Like, you don't have to put one in. But I'm going to put one in just because. So, um, SWA258. Like, why not? Okay. Um, and now you're going to put in your runway. So, according to Sim Reef, um, let me quickly check routing. Um, so, according to Sim Reef, it says I'm taking off at runway 27. So, I'm going to put that in. So, just put in the runway that your um, flight plan says. So, yeah, mine's Sim Reef, and I did already make a video, a tutorial on Sim Reef. So, if you're wondering what that is, um, you guys can check out that video. So, yeah, now let's go to perf in it, P E R F I N I T, whatever that stands for. And we're going to just press this, and it will basically fill in everything, everything in. Like the airplane just filled in itself. That's like fuel stuff. Um, and now what we're going to want to do is put in our reserves, which is 20.7. And then I believe the cost index for Southwest is 10. Like, I'm not exactly sure. It might be f not 100. Uh, um, I believe it's 10, um, maybe that's United's, I'm not exactly sure, but we're not actually doing a real flight. Oh, and the cruising altitude, I forgot, I totally forgot to put this in. So, we're going to quickly set up our cruising altitude for this flight, 25,000. So, yeah. Okay, back to the FMC. Um, now we're going to put in our N, we're going to press N1 limit. So, yep, yeah, we're just going to press that. Going to press that, and yeah, that's our, um, that's the temperature right now. So, yeah, fif plus 15 degrees Celsius. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to press takeoff. So, now here's our takeoff page. So, we're going to put 10 because our flaps, when we depart, is going to, it's going to be 10. Now, here's V1 and VR and V2. So, we're just going to press that again. And it will basically fill it all out. So the V1 and V2 basically tells us when to rotate. It will go V2, rotate. Or something on those lines. So yeah. Now we're just going to press just press this just like we did with every with um, the V1 and V2. So now it will make a beeping noise. And then we can clear out the verified takeoff speeds. And now it says what our trim is. So now let's set the trim. Okay. So, what was it again? 3.15. I'm going to try to set it 
to 3.15 like it doesn't have to be like exact but it's got to be at least close so there's three and a half a little bit more over this way and yeah so back to the FMC now we're gonna go to departure so we already set in our runway earlier that's why it always already is set so now look for our SIDS so check your flight plan uh... routing it says um... nothing on there Z Z zero 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 one will be our SID well my SID for today and then the transition IPL okay now we're gonna press root activate and execute now we're gonna go to departure and arrival arrival so phoenix arrival and then um landing runway 08 so here's ILS 08 not gonna yet execute that um stars we're gonna put in our stars nothing on this page um yep here hy drr1 oh erase i like went way too fast i accidentally pressed a transition too so Oh no, I, I even did it wrong again. We have to first put in our runway. Then I erase like literally everything. Then that. Then hogs. Okay, we've got everything. Yep. Now we're gonna execute. We're gonna press root and legs. And then here. We basically have made the flight plan, but not yet is everything ready. Now we gotta check if there are any vectors or flight discontinuities in the flight plan and if there are we can easily just take them out and we can't leave them in then basically our flight plan well it's not gonna work so up oh, here's a f root discontinuity so we're just gonna wanna take this out so how you do that is press the checkpoint underneath the root discontinuity or the vector so it shows it here then we're gonna pre put the um, checkpoint that was underneath the root discontinuity or the vector and yeah, basically press that and then the vector or the root discontinuity will be gone and everything will just move up. So and then we'll execute that. Check for more vectors or root discontinuities. Nothing there. Nothing there is up oh, and there's runway 08. So yep, that's good. Now what we're going to do is basically check if the flight is like, we're going to check if all the checkpoints are good. So now we're there should be a little knob left of the, um, what is it called, autopilot panel that says v APP, VOR, map, and f um, plan. So we're going to switch that knob to map from, I mean to plan for map. Then we're going to go back down to the FMC. So just so we can see the, um, the map here. Um, the plan there and the, um, the FMC. And then we're going to just press step. Step, yeah, we an, a plane can easily make that turn. So basically, we're checking if um we we can take out checkpoints if there's any like impossible turns the plane like totally won't be able to do, and then yeah, everything will be messed up because sometimes um things like that happen. Thing looks good. Okay, now it looks like we're going to our um final approach here we're by phoenix and we're coming straight into phoenix so yeah that looks good so yeah that that looks like a very reasonable flight plan we're gonna switch this back to map and yeah so that was basically it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it and yeah make sure you subscribe to the channel and leave a like it would really help the channel and yeah the support would help so yeah, so have a nice day and bye-bye.